it's, I've got an interest in women's health um, and it's really such a broad range of patients. Um, so people coming in for their cervical screening, um, coming to have a chat about contraceptive options, about fertility assistance, uh, pregnancy, early motherhood, and, and at the other end of the spectrum, there's menopause. Um, I also like seeing kids. So again, anything from routine vaccinations to common childhood illnesses, uh, parental concerns that we can have a chat about. Um, a big advocate for preventative medicine. So looking at your lifestyle, uh, making sure that your vaccin vaccinations are up to date, um, taking blood pressure, making sure risks are assessed for things like heart disease and diabetes. And sort of the fourth broad area of interest for me is skin cancer medicine. So doing, doing skin checks, following uh, lesions uh, over time as they, they can change and then and taking biopsies and, and then make, maybe taking some problematic ones out if, if required. Um, so one of the best things I think about GP is variety. Um, each day is different. Uh, it keeps me on my toes. Uh, there's always new challenges and, and to me personally, uh, being responsible for a whole person is much more rewarding than focusing on, on one particular organ or one particular system. So that's why I love general practice. Um, yeah, interesting question. It was, it was partly for selfish reasons. So I've always wanted to know more about the ins and outs of my body than I could necessarily get from medical professionals. Um, but I think this in turn, in turn makes me passionate about patient education and I love empowering people on their health journey. And another big part of it is that I love serving a community and I think there's no better way uh, than doing that than getting involved in health and health promotion.